Hi, I'm Linda, and this is No Frills ASMR. So we had started looking at this Sears catalog from 1961, and I thought it might be fun to look through it a little bit more. Um, hopefully I marked the page where we left off. Suitcases. <laughs> I guess I took some notes when I did the flag. Must be. Stars and stripes. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Alright, where are we? Knickknacks and notions for you. Look at this lady. has got this hair dryer on her head. And it's got like a plastic bag and you blow your hair dryer in there. I think we looked at this because I remember looking at it. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Guard weatherproofing spray. I remember using something like that. Alright, here's sew your own wardrobe. So you're buying the fabric and then probably the design. Isn't that something that women, like a lot of women, <laughs> Like most women, sew their own clothes. That's something that's gone out of fashion. <laughs> I swallowed really hard today. <laughs> Look how cute these women all are. They're cute. I love the little hairstyles. <laughs> her face, she's like, oh, you guys. <laughs> it's got roosters on her skirt that we had a rooster design in my kitchen I had mentioned I grew up in a house it was a 1920s house but when I lived there it was the 70s and the kitchen floor was carpeted <laughs> and it had rooster designs I think that was on the I feel like it was on the wallpaper but maybe it was just my mom's towels I don't remember now I don't recall oh that's cute I love that whole outfit Ooh, that dress is cute, too. I think I had a dress sort of like this in the 80s. <laughs> Go matching. Cute. All these fabrics. Ooh, she looks like Jackie Kennedy Onassis. Relaxed living. Look at this dress is awesome. Love it. The kids. So many patterns you could buy. Wow. I don't want to get to like toys. Kids in their pajamas. They have like little bears in their pockets. That's so cute. I think I had a dress that had a bear in a pocket like that. I feel like I did. I know I had dresses that had like flowers. And they'd have like rouging right here. <laughs> Is that what you call that? I don't know. Look at this one with a crazy like clown. He's holding that dog. Dog's like, seriously? <laughs> his kid drinking his soda like it's... <laughs> like, so cool. I just love little boys in little slacks like that. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, look. The boy and girl have matching outfits. Go together. Sears Playtime Togs. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. Little babies. And baby dolls. Shoes and diapers. Where are the toys? Of women's clothes. 
men's suits. More men's. Look how good. Look at these guys. I know. Very smart. What is this guy got on? This kid looks like a troublemaker, but also cute, but also has a thing with flags all over it. <laughs> This uh, little baseball set with lines on it. I bet if you found one of these now in good condition, I bet it'd be worth a lot of money. <laughs> Some collector. Shoes. Shoes, 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 shoes. Pants, pants, pants. Where's fun stuff? you want to shop by phone. Oh, here are the roller skates. I got lots of them. Look, they had little boxes you could carry on them. And I remember as a kid having these that you would strap onto your tennis shoe and they had metal, you know, caster wheels and they go <laughs> <laughs> and then they came out with these rubber ones, but you wouldn't want to use those on the street because it would mess it up. So you just take those to the roller rink. My girlfriend had one, and we spent every day all summer in that swimming pool. <laughs> it was awesome. And it made my mom so nervous because sometimes they would cave in. And so she was always worried about it. But it did not stop us from having fun. <laughs> Look at this tiny little pool. <laughs> the hose hooks up. This little duck thing. I had one. I loved it so much. <laughs> All right, we've got a tricycle. Ooh, a pedal drive motorcycle. How cool. It must not have worked very well because you'd think that would be very popular. <laughs> Step right on this handsome three-wheeler. Ooh, look at this. I feel like somebody in our neighborhood had this. Yeah, and it was kind of hard, like, you had to have somebody push you, that's right, and then you steer it, and they're running behind you pushing it. Yeah, I feel like I remember that. Far stronger than usual homemade jalopy built out of old carriage wheels and a soapbox. <laughs> yeah, there's a... racer wagon and a tractor oh look you could order the 1961 toy catalog that would be pretty fun to look at but we'll get a taste here's an ironing board and an electric iron and a telephone all for 75 cents this is a space gun sends four satellites with astronauts enclosed in globe. Oh, they're in the air, yeah. Soaring up to 40 feet in the air. Whoa. It's <laughs> realized I have like oil. I was working on the stove. <laughs> I have a 1950 stove. And the on off switch isn't working right. So that's a project. Let's see. Binoculars. Musical top hums as it whirls. Peg pounder. Yeah, I remember all these things. I used to um, help out at a nursery, and they had all these toys, which nobody played with. <laughs> Punch, Mr. Knock him Down. Yeah, these you wanted to be cool, but they were always too short. They weren't very big, like you can even tell here. And so it was like <laughs> bow and arrow. these things you dreamed they'd be so cool and then they come in like the bows like, like 
Oh, that's not as cool. Baseball glove. Box of 57 games included are bingo, tic-tac-toe, geography, baseball, checkers, bowling, and blackjack. All right. Cuddly plush pup. Button eyes, rayon ribbon, neck bow, floppy ears. Yeah. Everybody had that guy. <laughs> Cleaning set for mommy's little helper. Look, somebody ordered the toy kill. Like they cut out the uh, order form. You bet the. Ooh, yeah. Here's your motor for your new bass boat. $389. These were expensive. Look, this Elgin motor, $799. That's not cheap. <laughs> Back in the 60s. Where do they talk about the motor? I wonder. Six big Elgin extras at no extra charge. Wow. Ooh, a full color ad. And look, it's all like a watercolor. He's got his boat with a motor. He's fishing. Those are good looking motors. So I'm just going, oh, look at this guy just carrying his motor. Have motor. All he needs is a boat. <laughs> Ooh, these are sweet looking. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. I would dig this red one. That would be great. Elgin. The boats. How much is it for this boat? 750 bucks. That's a look these regular just aluminum are 189 or look 69 oh you build you had to build this yourself that's fun you use household tools huh and it's all pre cut that's really fun that would have been a good project to do 10 foot sailboat start a fleet <laughs> Uh, a lot of people in Michigan would sail. Um, I never did do it, but that was a pretty popular thing to do, I think. J.C. Higgins water skis. J.C. Higgins made the luggage. They made, like, some furniture, I think, like these kind of chairs, maybe. But, yeah, water skis, that's fun. Look at these two little guys ready to go off. <laughs> Relax in comfortable boat or stadium chairs. And then blow up boats. These actually work pretty good, I think. Ooh, look at him in his full-on wetsuit for 38 bucks. That's neat. He's got a harpoon gun. <laughs> What's he gonna catch? U.S. Coast Guard approved cushions. You can get yourself a flag with like Pepe Le Pew or a martini or a skull and crossbones <laughs> if you want to be a pirate. Fishing and lure, uh, spinning reels. Lots of spinning reels. For $13.00. 72 cents. All different price ranges. Ooh, look at all the lures and the flies. Crickets. That's one thing they say to be a little cautious with the old vintage lures because they're made with lead. And um, so if you touch them and mess with them, you should wash your hands so you don't get it like, you know, in your mouth or your face or whatever. But also, because they're old and they're starting to fall apart, I think you can breathe it in. I have never thought about that until just recently. I saw some write-up about it, and I was like, huh. Because I remember we used to use the little, I don't see them here, but there are weights of these right here, 19. What did these say? split lead shot yeah <laughs> and so you'd put that on the fishing line and then you bite it to close it i mean i use those all the time as a kid 
No wonder I'm so distorted. <laughs> Big old tent. We had a tent growing up and it was made out of a heavy canvas and that thing would get wet <laughs> and we'd have to roll it up to go back on the road and then open it up the next night and it would still be like stinky and wet. <laughs> but it was fun. I loved camping. It was kind of like this tent, I guess. I tell you, they make tents a lot better now. Oh, look at this one with cowboys and Indians. Let's get in there. Fun, fun, fun. This is kind of smart to have a... Uh, I mean, I don't know what's holding that up. You'd have to have um, stakes with line. But that way, if it rains, you can kind of get in and out. I think the one I have now for backpacking, if I'm remembering right, it has like a kind of an alcove so you can put your backpack in your shoes and then you close it. It's got a nice little waterproof area. Blow up mattresses. These things you'd always get on them and by morning they'd be flat. <laughs> oh, look at why oh, there's some I've never seen. We had these kind of um cots, which are pretty good. But look at this bunk bed cot. Time this guy moves, the whole thing's gonna shake. But I've never seen that. Tables, thermoses, old coolers, a cooker. Here are the guns. Somebody had said that they had an old Sears catalog where they sold guns, and yeah, because of hunters, they, you know, so long. Baseball gloves, Clips. weights, a tumbling. <laughs> I remember having these, you'd go, whoosh, and they had springs, and sometimes you'd like catch your hair or they'd whip back at you. Because <laughs> as a kid, I'd always want to use them like I'd put my foot in there and then pull it with my hand and it would come off my foot and fly. I used to love playing badminton. That's fun. Badminton's fun. Badminton's like the OG pickleball. <laughs> oh, croquet. I loved croquet. My grandma used to always want to play croquet, and she played till she was like 98. <laughs> She'd still go out and play croquet, and she was good. She was strategic. Darts, horseshoes. Uh, what is this one? Shuffleboard. You have to have a pretty flat flat area for that. Oh my gosh, look how fun. Pool, billiards, but ping pong, everybody. We had a ping pong table in our basement and we would play it all summer long and it was so fun. We'd have competitions. <laughs> and then we ended up getting rid of the ping pong table to get a pool table. When I was older, my dad wanted a pool table. But our basement was like a picture a house from like the 1920s with a basement that's you know not meant to be a room <laughs> it's just like cement and kind of damp <laughs> but we still had all our fun stuff down there and we'd hang out there all the time <laughs> golf clubs yeah I gotta learn more about golf ooh bicycles J.C. Higgins, they made bikes too. Oh look, here's a tandem. That used to be fun. My girlfriend had one and we'd ride around. That was fun. Sporterize your bike so it looks like a million. <laughs> yeah, man. Baskets. What are these magnifying glasses make reading and close work easier? For sure, safety glasses. Ooh, Vita pearls and Vita plenty with minerals, vitamins for the whole family. <laughs> what did they consider? This says vitamin A, B1, B2, B6, B12, vitamin C, vitamin D, niacinamide, 
and pantheonic acid. I mean, that's that's probably a fairly good little get your vitamin D, get your Bs. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Sometimes you see these things and they have kind of odd things, but these all look I don't think vitamins have changed all that much. <laughs> Time plus. <laughs> what is the difference? What does it matter? Huh. Stuff you'd see like L-lysine, calcium, uh, liver concentrate. <laughs> liver concentrate. Hmm. Stuff for your kids. Vegevita vitamin. Do you guys remember the Lucy skit from I Love Lucy where she has to drink the Vegevita vitamin? She drinks so much of it, and it has alcohol in it, I think is the deal. Wasn't that the deal? And she got kind of like drunk on it. <laughs> chess set with boards. I have to play chess again. I think I'm going to be in tennis soon. Maybe I'll get the old falling apart chess set from my childhood, and we can try that one. <laughs> we have Magnetic, Renaissance, Florentine. Games for guest and family. Handsome Parcheesi. Parcheesi is a fun game. Player's Choice. Complete Roulette. I actually have one of these in my basement. We could pull out sometime. It, it's not as fun as it sounds. Elegant Scrabble and Triopoly. You know, there was a Triopoly game in the game cabinet in my house growing up. And never once did we take that game out. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Oh, look, here are the, the poker chips. And a card shuffler. A bunch of cards, cute cards, cute little designs. Oh, we had these ones. That's um the blue boy. Yeah. Staplers. Ooh, typewriters. Alright, I'll tell you which one's the best of these. Smith Corona. Oh, that's an electric Smith Corona. I don't I'm not as hot on electric. Are these all see what else they have. Um, I mean, these are just huge. These are just like massive. If they had a smaller... Hmm, yeah, I don't actually see a typewriter I'm in love with here. <laughs> yeah, well. Cases. That's cute. They're like um, tartan briefcase. Too bad this catalog isn't in color. Crayola crayons. Pencil sharpeners. Webster's dictionary. The home health medical guide. in the 60s even that would be kind of an old-fashioned camera I think for the 60s but I guess it was oh it says new electric eye huh see I would have thought they'd actually be more like these by then hmm. movie cameras or movie projectors and You know, I have a projector and a camera that I kind of picked up in case my son, he's a filmmaker, and I thought maybe he could use it, but I don't know. You'd have to get film, <laughs> and then you'd have to get that film developed. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's there if he ever decides he wants it. <laughs> Ooh, all state seat cover. Look how cool that red one is. That'd be nice if you had a child or a dog. <laughs> or a child and a dog. Oh, look at these floor mats. I don't remember them having those back then. Are these like rubber? I guess so. Huh. 
I love rubber formats, man. It's so good. Make your car look years younger with an all-state convertible top. What? So they were cutting the tops and putting convertible tops on them? Well, uh, my concern with that would be the structure of the car. Because these cars were built, you know, with the top as part of the structure that's holding that together and doing that. Of course, convertibles are just more dangerous anyway. But they're fun. <laughs> I had one. I loved it. I had so much fun in my convertible. And then I had kids and I had to get rid Cute, cute, cute. I feel like I would love to have a little, like, Vespa kind of bike to tour around town in, but I don't know. In our area, the roads just are kind of <laughs> sketchy. I would worry about. See these old microphones from the 50s? They're good ones. It's basically what I'm using, I think, so. While you are asking. <laughs> Probably is. I pick stuff up. Super plugs. Well, that was fun. Uh oh. Here's a smash up. Look at all these guys in their black leather jackets. Weeks. If you ever watch those videos where they show where they've done tests on like old cars versus new cars and smashing them, and the old cars are terrible. <laughs> I mean, they're just, they weren't built for crash testing and safety, you know. That's something that has gotten much better now than it used to be. They used to have, um, you know, lighters and knobs that were hard and not attachable and they'd fly off at you if you got in an accident. It was like super dangerous. One of my sons one time wanted to buy a vintage car and I'm like, I can't let you do that. <laughs> as much as I love them, because I do. It's like, it's just not a good, unless you're just looking at it to drive like for a daily driver. Finish first meets requirements for U.S. CART Association for all racing classifications. How exciting that would be. <laughs> I just think that could be fun. We used to go go-karting when I was younger. They used to have like tracks kind of all over. I don't even know if there's one around me now. Huh. Yeah, I, I can't think of one. Brawn puts power in your living room. She's like, this is fun. I'm loving my, loving my mower. <laughs> Chain link fence. It's funny. Some areas, like every house has a chain link fence. And then some areas, there are no fences at all. I don't know why that is. Maybe some towns don't allow them or something, I'm not sure. Well, I may have to save the kitchen stuff for later because I do like looking at kitchen stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll talk to you soon. I know that wasn't all that exciting, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. Hopefully once we get to the kitchen section, there'll be, um, you know, Pyrex and things like that. Alright. I skipped over the kids in the, um, 
cages. <laughs> it's just like a pack. 